All right, we're going to finish up the table and chair activity. We're going to put it all together in this final video. It shouldn't take too long. All right, we got all our designs here. And what I want you to do is open them up in two different tabs. So here I have the table open. And right here I have my yellow chair that I just did. So what I want you to do is so, so do that. Pause the video and open up your table and chair. Next, I want you to click on your chair and hit copy. All right, hit the copy button. And then you can go back to your table, very simply, paste it. Okay, look at that, there it is, I got my chair. And then you can move the chair around, all right, to line up with where you think a chair should go. Now, it shouldn't be inside the table, it should be just outside. Now, if you don't want something to move around, like look, if I click and drag on this, check that out, it doesn't move. That's easy to do. Click on the object, and then in the upper right, there's a lock button. If I unlock it, now I can move the table around. If I click on this lock button, it won't let me. So that's a nice little feature. You can set something where you need it, like that looks pretty good, okay? And then I could lock it in place. Or a really nice thing is I could select it all, I can align it, choose the table, and then I can put it right there, dead center, okay? Once that's done, I'll lock it. Now, I made two different chairs. I also made this green one. So I'll copy that, and then I'll paste in the green chair with Control-V. There's my green chair. See, it's a little different, a little shorter. That's okay. I'm going to put it over here, but it's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to have to use the Rotate tool to rotate it. And then come around, and then I can push my chair in. All right, that one's got some, that one's got some cool arms right there. So what is your goal? Your goal to finish this up is I want you to have, uh, I've added some more chairs and what I want you to do is put four chairs around it, but I want one of them, I'm gonna copy this one and paste it. I want you to put one of them upside down. So think about that, like you were gonna wash the floor. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna have to rotate it 180 degrees. I'm gonna have to rotate it this way, 180 degrees. Whoops, that didn't rotate 180 degrees. Okay, and then looking at the right side, going to have to move it over, get it kind of close, and then I'm going to have to lower it down a little bit. There we go. All right, so if you were going to wash the floor, now that chair is off the floor. Oops, it's actually cutting through the bottom. That's okay. So... If your chair is too big, that's fine. So I want one chair upside down, and I want three other chairs around your table just like that. Take a screenshot of that and paste that into the document so you can submit it. See you in the next video. Oh, that's the wrong button. Where's the right button?